Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah and another Design Space tutorial on how you can customise my layered dog and cat SVGs to better match your pet. We've already done how to recolour your dog and I have three separate videos on that which the links will be in the description. Today I'm going to be showing you something that was a request from one of my customers. They had a dog that they were trying to match and it was a Staffy type dog and it had one ear sticking up and one ear which was floppy. None of my designs by default have that so I showed how to do that yourself in Design Space and I thought that might actually be helpful to share on my YouTube channel so here it is. We're going to be taking the Staffy design from here and then matching one of the Pitbull ears to it to get a little stuck up ear on one side and then our Staffy will look something like this dog. Isn't it cute? So let's jump into Design Space and see how to do it. The first thing we need to do is make it so that the Pitbull is facing the same direction as the Staffy. So I'm going to click on it and then go into Flip, Flip Horizontal. We only need the layer with the ear on it for the Pitbull. So I'm going to look down the Layers panel and click on all the other layers that we don't need and delete them. I'm going to keep this grey one with the cut out of the ear taken out and delete all of the others. So now I'm left with this. Just realised I've got a load of other layers there from uh, where I was testing this so I'll just delete them so it's not confusing. Okay so I want this to be on the top so let's go arrange centre front and then I'm going to make it so that the head of the pit ball is roughly the same size as the head on the staffy. So it's the left ear I'm going to be using and I'm just kind of lining it up so that the heads roughly are in the same place on the head shape. I need to slice off the ear so let's go into shapes and choose a square. Take the padlock to make it a rectangle and then I'm going to just position this over so that it's going to separate that ear. Select the square layer, press Ctrl or Shift on your keyboard and choose the Pitbull head and press Slice. That's going to cut them apart so now we can delete all of the slice results layers apart from the one that's still got the ear on it. Now it's got the rest of the face so we need to get rid of that so click the layer and then go down to Contour and I'm going to click everything that's not part of the ear to hide it. So now we've just got the ear. What we'll probably want is the pink part of the ear as well. So um, I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to make it pink. And for this part, I just want that middle shape. So I'm going to go to contour again and click the ear out of it and now it will just show the middle like this and then with the grey ear I'm going to go to contour and click into the middle part of the ear to hide it and now I've got my ear which I will do like this with the two different colours. The reason that I've made the pink on top rather than through the hole in the middle is because for this one I don't have a whole pink layer so it would have been tricky to um, get it all to line up. This way will be a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to need lots of copies of that grey ear, one for every layer of the staffy that it's going to be part of. So let's have a little look. We've got a head and then three body layers. So we'll need four in total. So let's duplicate that grey one. So I've got four and then drag the pink to the top so I can still see it. Select all of those layers and go align center and I'm just going to group them now by pressing group so I can move them all together and get them back into position. Okay so this is how the ear is going to look and you'll see if I zoom in we've got the edges lined up against that staffy head so you're not going to get any weird corners showing. If yours has some corners going over the edge just use another rectangle or a circle to slice off the edges so that you end up with it so that it will form that nice line. 
Okay, so we're ready to start slicing. So I'm going to click on the staffy and then ungroup the layers so that we can work with them. And again, with the ear, I'm going to ungroup those two. So now everything is separate. To make it easier to see what I'm doing, I'm going to hide the layers and work one at a time on the staffy. So I'm just going to hide the body layers and the head. I've kept the bottom one still showing. And then we have these two separate layers for the ears. We're not going to need that left one, so let's delete that. Okay, so now we've just got this bottom staffy layer showing, which is what we're going to work from. So the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to slice the ear off first and then weld the pit bull ear to it. So let's go into shapes and choose a circle or a square. And I just want to position this so it's going to cover all the parts of the staffy ear that is still showing. And I'm actually going to need another one oops, to cover that bit there. Okay, so select both those circles and weld them together. And then once again, you're going to need one of these shapes for every single layer that we're going to cut. So that was four layers. So let's make four of these, select them all and align them center so they're all one on top of the other, and then just drag them back into position. Right, it's time to start slicing. To make it easier to see, again, I'm going to hide all of these welded circles and I'll make this a bright color so it's more obvious what I'm doing. With the pit bull ear, I'm going to hide the pink one for now and hide three of the gray ears. So I've just got one left. And again, this is just so it's easier to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna select my blue circles, press control or shift on the keyboard and choose that bottom layer of the staffy that's still showing and then press slice. And then if we have a look, we don't need those two blue layers. So let's delete those. We want to keep the whole staffy body but we don't want that bit of ear we've just coughed, so I'm gonna delete that. I can now turn one of the gray ears on, make it the same color as the rest of the body, which is that one. Then select the body, press Control or Shift, press the ear, and then click Weld. And now that's joined that together, so we've got one sticky up ear and one floppy ear. So now it's just a case of doing the same thing. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to drag this body layer all the way back to the bottom where it belongs. And when you slice things, it moves the layers to the top, which can be a little bit confusing. OK, so let's hide this layer and turn on the next body layer, which is this darker brown. So we're going to need our circles again. Let's make them green this time. OK, so um, I've got the green circles. Press Ctrl or Shift and choose the body of the staffy. Click Slice. Delete the green ones. Keep the body and delete the ear. And then with my yellow ear, I'm going to make that the same color, which is that one. And then weld those two layers together. And that's the next one done. So now I can drag this back down to where it belongs, turn it off and turn on the next body layer. So just like before, we're going to need an ear, make it red, and we're going to need those circles, which can be purple this time. I'm just making them different so that if you're flicking through the video, you can see what part it's at at what time. OK, select the purple circles, control or shift and choose the body, press slice. Delete those purple ones and the ear, and then make the red ear the same color as the rest of the layer. Select them both and weld. Drag this back down. There we go. And now there's just one more to go, which is the head layer. So let's do this one. Okay, so I've got the blue layer, press control or shift and choose the head and press slice. 
delete the blue layers and the ear. This one, it will be okay because of how we're putting the ear on, but if you were using a different ear that had some gaps in it, you might also need to slice off these little bits that are still left on the head. But for our, our images we've got here, that will be fine. So let's change this to check we're happy with the color. Looks good. Weld those two together. And then drag it back to where it goes, which is there. That might need a bit of trial and error to um, get it in the right place. Okay, so now we can turn that pink bit on the ear back on, which you'd stick on top, and then turn all the body layers back. And then if we zoom out, there we go. There is our Staffy with one ear stood up and one ear floppy. I hope you enjoyed this video on how you can customize my layered SVGs by taking the ears of one design and putting it onto another one. I'm really enjoying this series showing you how you can fully customize my designs to better match your pet and I hope you're enjoying them too. If there are any customizations that you've been wanting to make but you aren't sure how to do it, please drop me a comment below and I'll see if I can make a video for you to show you how to do it. As ever, all of my designs are available at shop.craftwithsarah.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check back soon for even more customization and design space videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.